Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I am back with another episode of Tokyo Revengers. That's right, this is episode 10, Re-Rise. And man, poor Takamichi, man. He tries fairly hard and he's just not getting the results. Ah, oh, man, Dragon 2. Dragon was a really good guy. They really gave you like a reason to care about the characters with their like stories and the way they act and they're they're just so personable even if they're not necessarily good guys, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe it's just me being kind of from not that specific kind of like area or background but i'm very adjacent and so it's just interesting and i see a lot of parallels between people i know and grew up with or stuff like that right like a family uh and it's just an interesting thing to me because they're doing a pretty decent job of really like pushing these kind of like interactions uh that are often not really touched upon a lot of the time gang members and media and stuff are just villains right they're just bad people doing bad things and they're not taking into account the huge culture and the situation that goes behind every gang uh with that said i really enjoy tokyo revengers i can't wait to get into this and see what's going to happen next remember to support the original content creator because if we don't support them then how are we supposed to get more of this great content and if you enjoy watching us, like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon. Maybe you can get some exclusive access, early access, full videos, you know, all that great shit. So we're going to go ahead and get into this episode. Uh, I'm super excited about... Oh, oh here, maybe maybe we're not, actually, because it is frozen. Uh-huh. Okay. Weird. Super weird. But we'll figure it out. There we go. Ah, man. Ah, man. <laughs> Call a fucking ambulance. Damn, there's still a ton of them. Jesus. This guy. I was gonna say, I, this guy's strong, but I don't see him being nearly as strong as Mikey. There was not a lot of reason to play tricks if you're stronger, honestly. It, it's cool and all, but once again, if you have overwhelming force, there's not a lot of reason to sneak around. Call off an ambulance! Duh! Most people don't die immediately if stabbed. Come on, man! Get off your ass! Oh, oh it's your job! Mm, mm, he's pissing me the fuck off! He's distracted by a uh, dragon. Yeah, I was like, I don't. Come the fuck on! Mm. He's pissing me the fuck off, man! He's pissing me the fuck off! Oh! Yes! God damn it! Sitting there crying on your knees again. This is literally your whole reason to be here. I, I've, I don't know if I've ever wanted to punch the antagonist of an anime so fucking bad, bro. Like, just clock him straight in his face and say, Shut up, stop crying. Like I said, it's fine for it to be hard. It's fine to complain. Just do what you gotta do, man. Should have just called a goddamn fucking ambulance. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just already so yeah, pissed at this. Honestly, if you have anything to do with it, Takamichi, I very fucking much doubt it. You are, you are rough, man. Goddamn. Oh! Put pressure on the wound. Mm! He might not know that, but still. Uh, he, there's no way he can take this. Should have just kept moving, honestly. Oh, 
<laughs> it's fine to cry, but goddamn do something about it. Ah, right, he's weak. Alright, he'll be an official badass as he stands up and fights, but... No, you won't. Just make the girls run. Do your goddamn job. I swear, if he leaves him here, I will be fucking pissed. Thank you. No more running. No, run. Run. Now, he still can't win here, I mean. But yes, thank you. Once again, sometimes doing the stupid thing is the practical thing. This is the chance you have. Even if it means you might get beaten to death, this is what you gotta do. Punch him! Throw punch! No, nut kick! There we go. Nut shot, nut shot! I've been a hundred mil. <laughs> like how much? No, three hundred. And a punch to the face. Come on, guys. Nutshot. Cuts. 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 It, ah, that's why this reminds me of. It's not the same, but it's very similar. Yeah, knife. Ow. Yeah, that hurts like hell, man. Oh, he gave him the knife! He, he kept the knife with him. Don't you dare. You just gave away your weapon. Stab him with it. Stab him with the knife, I swear to God, Takamichi. With what? With what? With what? You just gave the knife away, bro. Yeah! No! No! You should have stabbed him to death. It's... You don't need to. You should have just stabbed him, bro. Should have kept the knife and stabbed him, honestly. I I'm gonna agree on this one. That's it. Yeah! Sometimes he takes a couple of ass whoopings. That's alright. Bro, he's in perfect reach for a fucking ball grab. Just squish those, bro. One pops, a dude's done. Yeah! This is a fight, bro. This is a street fight. He stabbed him. Are, are you kidding me? He stabbed him. You pussies. Yeah, the lock. But then the other guys are going to jump in. By the way, from here, a nice quick uh, stretch to the side is about it. Some people can resist, but uh, most, most can't. I still wish he'd have just got this knife and stabbed him. That would have been the most hilarious thing to me because he literally gave his knife away. They're going to hit him from behind. This guy doesn't even know how to get someone off his back. For those of you who don't know, jump, lean back. Their head will hit the ground. It might not work, but it's your best shot. Yep. I don't care. Also, I don't care how big you are. Strangulation works on everybody. Nice. They have the hand marks on his arms. Unfortunately, that's a nice little win, but let's see how the big game goes. Also, I don't... He's been sitting here too long. He needed to go to the hospital pretty quick after that stab. Yeah, I should have honestly done that way earlier. Wouldn't it be wild if she just beat everyone's ass? That would be so wild. Shouldn't lie to people like that, man. It's not a good habit. Oh, 
He's exhausted. He's still weak. Took most of what he had to. Come on, man. That guy got stabbed. He's still standing. Probably. Is this where uh, Mike Geeklin shows up? Thank you. That's enough. It's okay not to be able to. Yeah! Yeah! Mm, the boys! Fuck him up now. Mark Cry Baby Hero. Oh man. And the boys? Yes! Alright, that little part earlier helped. <laughs> Look at those two idiots. It was so good. I was expecting Mikey Kuhn. They got me. Tachibana. Oh. I can't tell you what it means. I've been. Uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. That's all right. It's all right to get your ass beat, bro. It's all right to lose. What's not all right is not standing up for your friends. Or the people who need help. That's not all right. You better go protect your homies, though. I have actually... That's all right. Keep... It's alright. It's alright to get your ass beat, bro. It's alright to lose. Mm. Fuck yes. Don't look away in a fight, though. Ever. Fuck yeah, bro. Squad up, dog. Oh! Love and peace. <laughs> hey, it's the Pololos. Unless that's the ambulance. He's not saved yet, my friend. We'll have to find out next episode. Shit, which means I gotta wait a whole nother week because this was this week, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I was probably way too loud. I'm waking up people sleeping. It's like three or four in the morning while I'm recording this, so. Uh... What I wanted to talk about is that feeling. Um, there is nothing like your boys showing up for you when the moment's needed. The feeling, right? When you know you need help. When you know that you can't do it by yourself. And that it's it's a situation that really, like, some, you know what I mean? Like, this, this kind of stuff is, like, self-imposed, right? Like, you, you choose to get into this kind of life a lot of the time. I mean, people get pushed in, etc. But you make active choices to do these kinds of things. And you know that you're not going to get help, right? The police aren't going to help you. You know what I mean? The government's not going to help you. You're, you're acting outside the law. And to have somebody put everything on the line for you, right? Their, their you know, freedom, their life, their, their everything. There's nothing quite like it. And they, they really did a, such a good job of that in this scene that I'm, like, blown away. Um... Having said that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate you all, and I couldn't do this without you. Remember to support the original content creator, because I'm really liking Tokyo Revengers. I have to go. I don't know if it has a manga, and I'm, I don't want to read it, because just like Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm just like enjoying it for the first time, right? Like, I don't, I never get to do that. I always read the manga first, so it's so nice to just to get to be able to enjoy it fresh. Having said that, Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon for uncut episodes if you really want to see them and see the whole reaction, not just the shitty clips I make. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Reactions with the next Tokyo Revengers.